Hi guys and girls, Mark Crotter here. We're talking Divide Strix and Golf Ball today. Lots of people asking me to do a review of the Divide Golf Ball. So it's a Q-Star Tour. There's the first thing you've got to realise. It's just a Q-Star Tour. We'll talk about what that means, maybe for your game price-wise and performance-wise as well as we go. But why would you use this ball? Could you use it? Could I use it? Like, could I actually play with something? So kind of out there isn't it we haven't seen it since the ping training ball really would it annoy me or would it help our golf games so before we start the video I just want to put it out there that I'm sponsored by Strixon um, they've sent me these balls for testing to look at to share my opinion they have no say in the outcome of this video and obviously I'm not fussed what balls you buy you buy what balls are best for you this is just my honest opinion of these golf balls I actually use a Z star so I don't use the Q star at all even though I did dabble with it at the start. I'm just gonna play with it, tell you what I think. With that information, I'm happy for you to do whatever you want with it. First time I've ever gone over the back of this green, it's obviously getting a little firm. So as you can see now, what happens, the ball is in play. We'll talk about doing stuff from the tee and on the green with the line, those kind of ideas, because I think that's gonna be the biggest play with this ball. Um, but now the ball is in play. I mean, it's actually sitting in a way where I will see it use the divide, like go dark like, dark like, dark like. As I chip, you'll see it moving in the air. What that actually does to your chipping is, you know, it's just a visual that some people might like. Um, but obviously, as soon as the ball is in play, it just is as it is, unless it's win the rules. So you've just got to put up with whatever line orientation it gives you. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, yeah. Now, the first kind of real standout part of the ball is obviously the two colours and then the definite you know, line that that creates. We'll talk about how that might benefit you on the green, which I think is the biggest play. But I mean, some people use the line to put their ball down on the tee. Now, I'm not a great fan of this, but let's just talk about that. So I want to aim just left of this bunker up here. So I'm going to position this somewhere in the region of that. So I'm not gonna take forever, I'm just gonna pop it down in that region. And to be fair with you, that line then does, if you are someone who does that, like that does give me some visual feeling like I can swing through, it makes me feel like I can see paths and facing relationships in the past. Would I use it? I don't think I would. If you are someone who does do that, I mean, it's gonna be a standout change because it is so definite with where that is pointing. Now I know Rory, someone we play with in our videos, used to do that, and if he still does with his ball, we kind of told him that he doesn't really, you know, he doesn't need to. And he isn't the best advert for that, obviously. But I mean, it did give me that very clear line. I wouldn't use it for other reasons, which we'll talk about as we get up there. So if you become dependent on this line, say from the tee, this is now orientated over here. I need to be hitting the ball over here. So it's pointing 25, 30 yards left. So if you are dependent on that, it's gonna get you in trouble more than it helps you because obviously you're off the, gre off the tee hitting shots more than you are on where you can control it, apart from obviously when we get on to the green. So I think use it maybe if you've got a feeling that you're trying to work with, but I wouldn't um, get too reliant on it at all because like I say, it's gonna skew you at other times. Oh, bounce straight, bounce straight. Nope, off to the right, ouch. As for feels and sounds, I mean, it does feel like a Q-Star Tour because that's what it is. Let's show you what that actually means, what that ball could do for you. So if we start with the driver, you can see the Q-Star Tour, it fits pretty much in there with every other ball Strixon makes. So you're not having any sacrifices with the Q-Star Tour on distance for driver. You can see the backspin with the driver is very, very similar. Not quite as low spinning as say the Z star, but again, the standard deviations crossing over next to no differences. The standout difference was not in the chip in. The chip in was very much the same. 
So here's an 11 yard chip shot. You can see they're all spinning very, very similar across the range with the Q style tour just over 2000 right in the same bracket as all the other balls. And then the mid irons, you can see the spin rate was around five and a half with all a little bit higher in the Q star and the soft field, which are two other balls with the Q star tour very much in there with the Z star and the Z star uh, XV. The biggest difference I would say was in the mid iron you can see how tight the dispersion is with the Z-Star and the VX, which is why it's the top ball. And Q-Star Tour, obviously this slightly cheaper ball. This could be my hitting, but you can see it's slightly wider deviation. So the consistency of spin may be just fluctuating a little bit more. And that was the biggest difference I found if you go for premium to this ball. So the word biggest difference is I need to be careful with. It was very, very slim. And you've got to remember, I mean, the biggest standout difference with this ball was the price tag, really. Oh, short-sided again. Well done. <laughs> All right, can I up and down again? Going to need some height to stop this one. Got the height, just throwing it a little too far. Let's use that line, see what it's all about on the putting. So this is the big difference here. We can really start to now orientate that line, hopefully somewhere towards where we want that ball to start. Now, I am not the biggest line. Well, I say not the biggest line on ball golfer. I am not a line on ball player. It's not something I really use. Um, and the main reason, to be fair, and it sounds a bit silly, I think if we play differently now to how I used to play. I don't really line putts up that much anymore because we haven't got time with the camera. We tend to just get on and kind of hit it. And the biggest thing I always find with lines on the ball is I get over it and I start second guessing it. So when it comes to lines on the ball, I'm not a massive fan for me personally. If it's something that helps you and you feel like you're better with it, definitely keep doing it. <sighs> yep, line that up well, didn't I? <laughs> I just feel, I mean, as lines go, if you are a line on ball person, that is as definite as it gets. And this is where I do really start to see the advantage with this ball on the green. But again, you have to be, so that's lined up too far left. I'm gonna see if I've confirmed that with it. This feels like it's too far left. So I'm gonna actually hit it to see if I confirm that. Yeah, up the left. And like with anything in golf, for somebody who doesn't use the line, I would have to practice to use it, to work it into my fields and routines. If that's something I wanted to do, 100%, I would want this ball in a Z-star. I, I would like, I don't think there's a ball better. If you're not a line on the ball person, which I am, well, let's see, play a few more, see if it actually puts me off on the putt and or can I override it? I think the fun element has to be brought in, as in the first time I put these on the putting green in my garden at home, basically all three of my kids were like, oh, that's fun, what's that? So I think the fun element of them doesn't have to be overlooked as well. Like, I totally would use this ball if it was in the Z Star just for that element, because it is fun. And then whenever that line is there and I wanted to use it, I know I can turn it on if you like. Because I definitely feel like on the tee here, and we'll talk about a bit more on the green, I can turn the line off, if that makes sense. I can just ignore it. So longer putts, I could see myself using the line more. I am much more of a like, this comes from the right, let's just bang it up the right and get some pace control coming. And this is where I think the line, I would be much more efficient with it, wouldn't be second guessing it so much then I would just be kind of hitting it there. When it comes to these short ones, like I say, I would definitely have to work it into my routine. There's a lot of fiddling about. There's a lot of getting over the ball and maybe coming back in. And that's one of the complaints maybe the lining up the ball gets, which is pace of play. But I think you could keep it seamlessly if you really want to use the line. You know, when the person is putting, as soon as they hit their putt and that ball is rolling, I would be in setting mine up. And then if they get it like, you know, within a foot and they want to finish, my ball will stay there and I'll just kind of back off. Yep, you finish. So I'm seamlessly running my process over their shots. Um, so I don't see it having to be a pace of play issue. I see it more how you manage it. I think if you stood back, waited for them just to finish and then start doing your line forever, 
yeah I could see how that would be a bit annoying but that's just how you manage it again I stand over here with a line now I've got to trust my read and hit the pace like I do feel the more I putt with a line and such a distinct two-way line I do feel like I would think about working it into my routine but like I said anything you go it would need practice so by definition what I mean by that is the line isn't the fix the line is just another tool that you can use to see if it helps you um, and as I keep saying as the line goes I mean that's as definite as it gets so we do have two colors as well so this blue and yellow and the orange and yellow I would be orange and yellow the blue and yellow I find the blue a bit dark got these on my chipping green at home and they're good for chipping with and practice I think playing with that one when it sits on the ground that if it's that blue side up my eyes I'm not gonna find that so to be fair I'm not the biggest fan of the blue even though it does everything this one does it's more that I just don't think I'll find it this one does stand out a lot more I mean, the feels as you hit it, you wouldn't really think you're hitting any other ball. It is just purely that visual that you're dialing into or not. So I think the only last thing to really think about, and you wouldn't really, you'd get this visual sometimes when on the golf course, and I have these on my chipping green at home, is when you chip the visual of that ball going back, you know, spinning and then over spinning when it hits the ground and the backspin comes off and it rolls is nice like it's a nice visual will it make you chip better will it make you be a better chipper i don't think so is it a nice visual as it moves back yeah it is like you can really see how that ball's reacting in the air could i game them yeah easily are they fun yes will the line help you on the green if you're that way inclined possibly you'd have to test it's definitely the most distinct line out there um little quirky things when you hit them off the tee it does kind of go dark light dark light dark light sometimes which is a bit funny at the start but you get used to it and it's quite fun um uh, it's just a fun ball with some benefits on the course as well certainly benefits in training i would use them in teaching to explain how certain things are working or not because you do see the way the ball flies through the air and spins and certainly on the greens of lines those ideas it's a cute start all it's just a good ball out the price would you game that one and would you be taken seriously if you did i don't know because golf's pretty snobby i know my kids would definitely game that ball over anything else because they just love the way it looks comments down below would you wouldn't you would you see the benefits are you a line person let me know i'd be really interested to hear your thoughts on this one <laughs>